Researchers have known for decades that lifestyle and individual choices play an important role in increasing the risk of cancer. While it's clear that genetics can put people at risk for some kinds of cancer, Dr. William Nelson at Johns Hopkins University says epidemiologists have discovered changes in cancer rates as people move from one region to another, thus pointing to environment as a factor. Rural China is a good example. People are much more likely to have stomach cancer and liver cancer, whereas those cancers are uncommon here. They're less likely to have prostate cancer in men and breast cancer in women. Those are much more common here in the U.S. And yet Chinese immigrants to the U.S. increase their chance to develop prostate and breast cancer and decrease their chance to develop liver cancer and uh, stomach cancer. Epidemiologist Elizabeth Platz says environmental factors, which include pollutants, but also lifestyle choices and personal habits are considered a major element in cancer risk. So the key risk factors that we know cause cancer are smoking, obesity coupled with poor diet and inactivity. And those together account for almost 50% of cancers in places like the US. Identifying those factors has led to concerted efforts by medical professionals and policymakers to curb behaviors that increase the risk of cancer. Dr. Platz points to anti-smoking strategies as a major public health success. The mortality rate from lung cancer has declined precipitously over the past few decades because we learned that cigarettes cause lung cancer. And then there were strategies to get the message out. There were strategies to prevent the uptake of smoking in young people. There were strategies to help people quit. Meanwhile, scientists are working to understand in greater detail how a sedentary life and unhealthy diet affect the risk from cancer. Controlling those risk factors is a complex process that involves changing habits. But health officials stress that cancer prevention provides the best value for the money, supplying people with useful information to protect themselves from this deadly disease. Ardita Dunelari, VOA News, Baltimore.